All right. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Um, all right. Welcome back to this workshop of ours. My name is Savvy, and today we're going to do, as per usual, talk about how to feminize, masculinize, and just really do anything that you want with your voice. All right. So first and foremost, I do need to make some talk about health and safety as per usual. If you are to train your voice and use your voice in any way, um, you better make sure that you follow these guidelines, which is very simply drink water 15 minutes before you do any sort of practice. That is because drinking water does not hydrate your voice efficiently. It will be the blood flow which will eventually hydrate your voice. So be sure to drink water before uh, doing any voice work, at least 10 to 15 minutes before doing any voice work. All right. Now, of course, there's other things to take into account. Because voice is so gentle, or rather the muscles involved and the parts in voice involved are very little muscles and very soft tissues, you have to make sure not to work um, on your voice when your voice is dry or whenever you're sick, especially if you are hurt. Typically, if you have something like a stuffy nose, then it's probably fine because it's not entirely affecting your voice but if you feel like your voice is kind of like rough or maybe you have had a cough and like your throat kind of feels like inflamed then yes maybe you might want to be careful and not get right into voice work now there's other things that can be responsible for drying your voice stuff such as smoking or drinking alcohol are known to dehydrate the body in general smoking probably worse than alcohol but just in general you know at the end of the day you do what you want with your body so most important is you try to avoid doing voice practice when you end up doing things that can be drying out to your voice okay now with that said um, yeah, um, this was all the disclaimer about vocal health and safety and how to first get started. Now, another thing that's really important is to do some vocal warm up. So you're not going to run a marathon just like that. You just wake up and you go run. No, probably not. You probably get started, stretch a little bit, stretch your legs. And once you're like all warmed up and stretched, you can go for a run. The voice is very similar in that way. We also have some muscles that need some vocal warm-up. And so that warm-up can be sounds such as a Z sound. Zzzz, doing a slide from like a low pitch to a high pitch. Or perhaps for those who struggle with having access to lower pitches, you might want to try the other way around from the highest to the lowest and just kind of gently go across and over your range in such a way that basically allows the vocal folds to vibrate and gently get warmed up thus bringing through the blood flow the nutrients and the water required for your voice to function properly okay now with that being said we'll do some warm-ups in a little bit but before we do i want to talk really quickly about how voice functions so what exactly is voice well we like to use the power source filter model perhaps the graph has loaded hopefully okay all good so what is the power source filter model well very simply put we're going to have the power which are going to be the lungs right you have air in your lungs you you blow air out and that's just breathing out. But then here at the level of the source, you'll find the Adam's apple. Ah, this little bump on your neck might be more or less prominent depending on how much testosterone has affected your voice or not. But that's beside the point. No matter what, we all have this Adam's apple, or rather what's behind it, the larynx. Okay? Now the larynx houses the vocal folds that I talked about before. And these vocal folds are like little flaps of flesh, of muscles, of ligament, and soft tissues that can create sound, the sound of your voice. So again, we push air from your lungs, and then that air reaches the larynx, and then it sets the vocal folds in motion if they are in the way. Okay, if you pretend that my hands are little flaps of vocal folds. Okay, now that creates a sound which we call the source sound. And that sound will then move up, reverberate, and bounce around a resonance chamber, which we call the filter space. We also call this part, in a more scientific term, the vocal tract. 
um, and what we change about the vocal tract is its size. Now, of course, we can't like exactly modify our body, but we can modify the position of the larynx, the position of our tongue to more or less get a smaller space or get a bigger space. And this is what will allow us to get a really bright voice or a really dark voice, okay? And so that's all we want to be talking about. You know, use air, you then set the vocal folds in motion that creates a sound, and that sound can reverberate and bounce around in a big space or in a small space, okay? Now let's talk a little bit about um, how the voice works and rather how we gender it socially or not even socially, but like biologically, what is it that our, our ears are hearing? So we need to understand what differentiates a masculine voice from a feminine voice. Generally, in most cases, what differentiates the two types of voices is how much testosterone has affected the voice, or if you're a voice actor, uh, how much you have modified your voice to mimic the effects of testosterone in your voice. Now, what happens when we get hit with good old testosterone? Well, three things happen. I can't do the three things. Yes, three things. Awesome. So, first thing that happens is that your vocal tract goes from a really small size to uh, a really big size, giving you a really hollow, a really big space that can allow for a lot of dark sounds, okay? Second thing that happens is that the vocal folds that you have start to vibrate slower, which results into a slower vibration rate, which gives you a much lower pitch, okay? And now the third thing that happens is the vocal folds can get a little bit thickened up. Now, most of you probably know this from biology class, but testosterone has the property of making muscle growth uh, more likely. And so that also goes through the vocal folds. The muscle growth here can, be a lot, uh, can make the vocal folds a lot thicker, which makes our like hollow, dark voice make, you know, like more power and more buzz to it like adding like a lot more texture right and this gives you like a full full uh, well yeah <laughs> a full uh dark and low-pitched masculine voice and that's what testosterone does to our voice so if i can go from down here all the way to up here then it, it is because that you can change the behavior um, of how you use your voice, right? And that is what allows us to reach either a feminine sound or a masculine sound, depending on where you want to go with your voice, okay? So now that we understand this, let's do a little bit of warm-up, right? So we're all going to do this together. What I'll be doing here is I'll be counting to three, doing things first, then I count to three, and then you can unmute yourselves and mimic after me. Sounds good? Let's give this a try. All right, let's just start with an O sound like this. Oh. And you go in three, two, one. Oh. And that tone. Oh. All right, awesome. Now we can try this with a different sound. Let's try the sound Z as in zoo. So let's try. In three, two, one. very good <laughs> good job so now this is how you can warm up your voice very gently of course the goal is not to reach for the highest pitch or the lowest pitch or for the loudest either it's just to get the vocal folds vibrating gently and get it going and get warmed up all right now i think it is time for us to do what we do next which is today as per usual i'll have on stage two people who want to masculinize their voices and two people who want to feminize their voices so if you are interested to move up on stage be sure to raise your hand so first off we're going to start with 
masculine voice today. So if you are interested in masculinizing your voice, please raise your hand. You can use the hand emoji as well, or you can jump in place. All right, I see one person here. Okay, well then that will be you, that one Kyle. Please come on, move on stage. Come on, come on, come on. Applause for that Kyle. <laughs> All right, hello there, Kyle. Is that how I call you, Hi. that or Kyle? Probably Kyle. Uh, um, Kyle is fine, but Lloyd is my preferred name. Kyle's just a nickname. All right. Okay, sure. Then I'll go by Lloyd or Kyle? Uh, Lloyd. <laughs> Lloyd. Okay. Nice to meet you, Lloyd. Applause for Lloyd! <laughs> okay. <laughs> we can never have enough of those. So we got 10 minutes starting from now. All right. So is this the first time you ever uh, came up on stage, Lloyd? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, what's your experience with using your voice? Have you done any singing, voice acting, or just done silly sounds of your voice, or completely beginner at this? Um, I do theater, so I uh, sing, kind of. Okay, good. So singing is good, you know, like you get a better connection than someone who has never sung before uh, between your brain and your voice. That's really good. Let's see, how about you show me a slide from your highest pitch down to your lowest pitch. Can you do that? Okay. Uh... Uh... I'm pretty sure I can go lower. Well, I'm pretty sure you can go lower too, yeah. yeah. Just by the fact that like the vo the voice you're using to speak is a lot lower than the picture gave me. Okay, let's try this together. Oh, oh. oh. No worries, they don't exist, they are figments of your imagination. It's just the two of us. <laughs> okay, so. Oh. 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 Okay. Hmm. Uh. Okay, let's do something. Uh, I want to see. Can you just go? Oh, that's not the right slide. Do you see the slide here up on the board? Yes. Awesome. Uh, so, yeah. yeah, okay. Can you read that first sentence how you normally read it? Hello. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Yeah, that's what I thought. You can go much lower than what you did in the slide. You, you can go like down to E3 at a minimum, okay? So, maybe the slide is not a good tell of how low you can go pitch. It's okay, we'll forget the slide for now. Now, let's talk about what can you do to make your sound, your sound, your voice go from a really bright, hello, good morning, to a hello, good morning, sound that is a lot more dark and a lot more close to a masculine sound. How do we do this? Well, I like to use a little sound called the whisper. It's a voiceless sound that doesn't require the vibration of the vocal folds to be happening. And it's just, well, a whisper. Can you give me a whisper? Like a very gentle, just hello. Ah, I'm gonna need you to do something for me real quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the oh, yeah, um... quick menu, please go to the audio settings. Make sure that noise suppression is turned off and that the mic activation threshold is all the way down to 0%. Yeah, noise suppression, I'm pretty sure it's off. All right. If that's all good, then let's try to do that whisper again. Hello. Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> Can I say fuck? It's okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh. Let's go for fudge. Very edible kind of <laughs> swear. Frick. Yeah. Frick, fudge. Ah. <laughs> you're fine. So, okay. Um. You know, like, let's pretend you're, you're like in a classroom and you're like, hey, what's the answer to question B? Don't cheat. What's the answer to question B? Can you try that? What's the answer to question B? 
awesome, you just whispered. And now you will notice that the whisper is, well, kind of feminine coded in the sense that it's really bright. That's the answer to question B. Now we can make that sound a lot more masculine. We can make it so that it sounds, what, 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 what's the answer to question B? And now it's like, bro, ask a question, you know? <laughs> so <laughs> now we're going to try this on a more simple sentence. Let's try it with the word pat that cat. Okay? So let's try to do pat that cat on the whisper. Pat that cat. Pat that cat. Remember, you're in the classroom. The teacher shall not hear that you're about to pat the cat. So pat <laughs> That was good, that was good. Awesome. And now we're going to make that pad go darker and darker, as if the cat is getting bigger and bigger. Pat, 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 It's okay, it's okay. Let's go back to the whisper. Hey, what's the answer to question B? Pat that cat. Pat that pat pat pat. Um, why can't I whisper? Um, just go back to the thing of like, what's the answer to question B? Oh my god, hand tracking. Pat. And from that whisper, like a yawn, yeah. It <laughs> okay, just feel yeah. like a yawn, you know. Like, yeah. <sighs> mm -hmm. Yes, that is really good. So you went from a pat that cat to now a pat that cat, which is a magnitude darker. Pat that cat. Pat that cat. Right? So by doing this, you achieved a bigger vocal tract. What happened is your Adam's apple went lower or your larynx went lower and thus it created a much darker whisper. Right? It's that same position that you want to use and assume when you are going for a more masculine sound so that you eventually can bridge from a dark whisper but that cat <sighs> into a dark sound. And it sounds like you yawn, so I must ask, do you know how to yawn on purpose? Like, oh, oh god, I'm so tired. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, but like, I had this thing where I yawn kind of. after people. Um, That's crazy. It's actually a pretty na natural phenomenon to yawn after people. So I'm going to yawn some more. <sighs> Yeah. Oh yeah, let's yeah. And then, then you notice your sound is like, <gasps> and it's not like, ah. <laughs> so like you've achieved like a darker sound, right? So, <gasps> it doesn't sound like much now, but we're gonna couple that with a lower pitch. So let's yawn into lower and lower pitches. <gasps> <gasps> I can't. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 
actually, I wonder what kind of singing have you been doing? Like kind of operatic singing or like choir singing? Uh, I don't really sing that much, but it's... Like was it like more pop singing? Like was it like in the group or alone? Uh, usually just me. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I thought I could tap into like choir experience experiments because like when you sing in the choir, you generally are asked and tasked to have a darker sound to kind of like create a more um oh uniform uh, sound. Um, but yes, so I'm afraid that this touches to the end of our time, but it doesn't mean mm. that you can't practice this on your own, okay? So be sure to like hunt down that whisper and find that pat that cat going back to the dark pat that cat, right? And then you can try and mix and match that with some yawning and yawning to darker, uh, sorry, to lower pitches, okay? All right, Lloyd, you've been really brave. Applause to Lloyd for making it up on stage, because that's not easy, okay? Thank you, Lloyd. Um, good luck with practice. All right, so next up, we'll be having someone who... Oh, that was a real clap. Uh, now we're going to have up someone on stage who wants to feminize their voices. Who is interested, please do raise your hand. If you are interested, okay, I see multiple people. I think I saw two hands at once. You've, you're making it really hard. Okay, you're like in the dead center. So, Avis, come up on stage. Come on, come on, come on. All right, applause for Avis. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hello there. Sorry. Hi. Hey. No worries. Hi. All right. We got 10 minutes starting from now. All right. Let's go. So, Avis, this is the very first time that you uh, made it up here. Correct. I've never seen your, the likes of your avatar, but again, people change avatars, so it can happen. All right. So, this is the very first time you're in a workshop then. Correct. Okay, so let's talk about voice real quick. You have been there from the start, so you kind of understand what we're trying to achieve. If we start from a masculine voice, we want to revert the effects of testosterone, right? So we want to make mm -hmm. the sound of our voice a lot brighter, higher in pitch, and generally softer. Although when I hear your voice, I don't exactly hear like a super boomy, heavy voice. So like your voice is already I mean, like kind of like, like it's kind of like soft, you know, like it's not like hyper soft like this. But, you know, like it's not heavily heavy. Maybe you're trying to do stuff on your own already to modify your voice. I'm not sure, but I am. Um, I've reverted back to good. natural now. Just so you can kind of okay. see where I'm starting from. Okay. Oh, uh, just so you see, uh, okay, it's like we're down here. Okay. First thing I'm going to ask you to do is slide up from that low pitch that we have. And we're going to try and go to like a higher pitch. Let's try this. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh, it's a bit of oh, an F sharp free. That's pretty good. Can you go any higher, or is that going to be your limit there? Uh, that starts getting really okay. straining. Uh, okay, you're going up to C4. That's really good. Okay, so from there, I can see that you already have a range that can very much work in a feminine voice. So no worries with that. What we're going to do here, first and foremost, is do the pat that cat whisper exercise. So please mimic after me. We're going to start with a really dark whisper, like we're Darth Vader. Pat that cat. Give it a try. Pat that cat. Oh, huh, not as dark as me, but pretty good. So we're here. Pat that cat. So we're going to try and make that pat brighter and brighter. Pat, 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 pat. You gotta try. Pat, 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 pat. Okay, very good. Now with that pat, that cat, can you try and say just a sentence like, pat, 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 cat. Pat, that cat. 
Okay, so it's not exactly as bright as the one you have shown me before, so you're like doing pat, that. You're doing more like of a pat, that, cat. But I want to hear more of a pat, that, cat. Bit brighter. Pat, that, cat. So this was interesting. You did pat, that, cat. So you were climbing up in resonance. Okay, so getting a steady whisper and getting like a like an ear for it, can take a bit of time. Let's try the following. We're just gonna do just the ah whisper. So, ah. And you're gonna try and make it slide downwards, like, ah. Give that a try. Okay. Awesome, and now we're gonna do the exact opposite. Careful there, you change the ah for an eh sound, as in bed. Mm. Different vowel sounds. Try to really keep that ah at the end. That's why I generally use the sentence pat that cat, because just the vowel sound can generally lead to a warp in the vowel. So, try it out. Okay. Okay, pretty good. And now what we're going to do is going to merge that whisper into a full voice. So let's first go for a pitch that we can reliably go to. So, um, can you match my pitch here? Uh, uh, I'm here. Uh, you're here. Uh, So we hear, uh, let's go slightly higher. Uh, okay, do that pitch again. Uh, and again. Uh, let's try to go. Uh, 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 very good. Okay, so you have the accuracy to go from uh to uh again. Uh, uh. Nice, awesome. So now that you can hit that pitch accurately, 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 yes, uh, with accuracy, we're gonna try and go from the whisper into that pitch. Uh, for now, it just sounds like uh, and we want it to sound like. Ah, with your really bright ah sound. Okay, so we're gonna do the pat method. So the pat exercise. Pa, 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 pa. Reach that bright pat sound. Go for it. Pa, 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 pa. Awesome. They're gonna say pa, pat that cat. Pat that cat. This time it stayed really bright. Very good. And now. Pat that cat. Pat that cat. Too fast. You first have to start on the whisper. So you hear that the whisper is not Pat that cat. Otherwise, if you start from a neutral whisper, which maybe it's dark, you're going to have Pat that cat. Not exactly what we're targeting, right? Mm -hmm. So be sure to really climb up with the whisper first. Okay? Pat, pat that cat. Okay, that's already pretty good. Pat that cat. Okay, we're starting to get there. Now, we want to try to like make the slide a bit more, um, uh, how do you call this, more granular, okay? So that we have like a smooth transition from the whisper into the full voice. So, there is three steps to this. First, the whisper, pat that cat, right? right? Mm -hmm. Then the breathy voice, where the vocal folds are starting to vibrate, but there's a lot of loss of air. A lot of air is coming through. So we get, pat that cat. That's a breathy voice. 
and then the balanced voice, which is going to be pat, that, cat, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try this. Pat, that, cat. So start with the... Bright whisper. whisper. So you want to climb up? Yeah. Okay, that was a good attempt, but you went for this pitch. So that's going to be harder yeah. to feminize. And it's a much lower pitch, right? So generally, why do I avoid lower pitches? Of course, you absolutely can use a femme voice at lower pitches. I mean, you can absolutely talk down there and have like a more mature feminine voice or a lower pitched feminine voice, right? But that's the problem is that chances are with your masculine voice, you already use that pitch. And so your brain is going to be like, ah, yes, C sharp three. I know that pitch. I know I have to do it like, ah, oh. and you're going to be like, okay, whoops. You know, you lose that resonance alongside it by habit, mm -hmm. unfortunately. So it's good to like take a pitch that's generally a bit higher than your usual range so that your brain doesn't exactly make that connection so that your behavior doesn't take over again. Okay. So, okay. so that's why we're aiming for a G3. Uh, okay, you're here. Uh, or we can do it like uh, in a darker voice if you want. Okay. So. Uh, uh, yes, awesome. And now. Okay. You got that. It was really good. Now try and hold that position. So notice how you did. That kind of went darker as you um, held it. Okay. So let's try it once okay. more. Good. Okay, that, that, yeah. we went a bit darker, but it's okay, it's still bright. And from there, <sighs> yes, and say, pat that cat. Pat that cat. Okay, pretty good. It's still a bit dark. Like, it's still kind of like a pat that cat, rather than a pat that cat, which is like, a bit too bright in my opinion anyways, but you know, with practice and with some training, you know, like getting the hang of this, this is your first time and like you're already really close to it. So getting more accurate with the pitch when you're doing the slide back from the whisper into the full voice, into the balanced voice can help uh, with getting it right. And also just trying to do things like you climb up and this is for everyone whether you want to masculinize or feminize your voice by the way um which will be to be like whatever neutral position you have on the whisper maybe yours is darker right so but that cuts. well you want to try and climb up and kind of like stay there kind of like freeze frame your body then let it go back to like whatever voice you had before then try and think about how it felt Try to jump directly back to it without using the whole pa, 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 as this will make you a lot more, um, a lot more, uh, how do you call this? Ah, I'm losing my vocabulary. Uh, a lot more uh, consistent. That's the one word I was looking for. A lot more consistent with getting your whisper to a brighter place. Okay. Mm. All right. <laughs> yeah. Pat that cat. Pat that cat. Okay, that was pretty good. Although careful, I didn't hear the whisper before. So if you don't hear the whisper, this is what's important. And then I promise I'll let you go. I'll stop bullying you. Um, the whisper is really <laughs> important, right? If you have a dark whisper, it's going to lead to a masculine voice. If you have a bright whisper, it's going to lead to a feminine voice. Well, that's a very big short cut, of course. But what's really important here is to use the whisper always before so that you hear where you're tuned. If you're doing it's going to be a masculine sound. 
right? The perk of doing this slide from the whisper into the breathy, into the balanced sound, is that you can audibly hear if the whisper is doing trailing down as you slide into the balanced voice, or if it's trailing up, you know? So really important mm -hmm. to keep the whisper as kind of like an anchor of sound. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Hey. Thank you, Avis. You've been brave to come up on stage. Applause for Avis. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. This is the love of your voice practice. Okay, and now up on stage, I'll be having someone who wants to mass, mass, masculinize their voices. Who might be interested? Please raise your hand, jump in place, or move a bit forward. Okay, kick it, Jules. You've never been here up on stage, yeah? Um, no, this is for my partner, by the way. They're here. They're not the most familiar with the R, but... Would that be Night Stalker? Um, they, they want to do masculinization. Okay, yeah, come up on stage. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Uh... Oh. Yep. What's happening? Ah. I'm stuck in the camera. Are you switching? <laughs> Are you switching the VR headset? What's happening? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh. I will be. Oh. 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 oh, okay. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm sat down. There we go. Ah, I see. That's fine. You, babe. Come on, uh, this, you can go there to you the go. left or to the right. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Right here. All right. Hello. <laughs> this is this is a first. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how are you guys doing? Hi, hello. How do I call you? Hi. Jika? Jules? Do you have a name you go by? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm Ash. My parents knew okay. I was going to be queer, so they called me Ashley. <laughs> Hell yeah, they knew, they knew. Okay, so <laughs> Ash, all right. Welcome up to the stage. Applause for Ash. <laughs> oh my, good luck. Um... <laughs> Can you hear me fine from here? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Awesome. So, yeah. now let's get started. We got 10 minutes starting from now. Cool. Okay, so Ash, first time you ever hear about voice modulation? Um, well, my partner's like tried to show me a couple of times. Um, yeah, um, it's the first time I've been on here. They've said it's been really good on here, so I'd love to have a go. Okay, then give the, let's give this a try. Oh, I do hear a mad echo though, I'm not sure why. Uh, I'll deal with that one second. Oh, thank you. Uh, Is that any better? Uh, uh, yep, yeah, it's good, it's good. Thank you. Cool. Oh, cool. All right. <laughs> we, we, do, we got it, we got it. Okay, <laughs> so I want to see what's the lowest pitch you can um, comfortably do? Like, can you like, give me a, um, a slide from like your highest to your lowest? Like, Oh, or something like that. Bump, bump, pat the cat. <laughs> yeah. Mm, okay, what's the pitch here? Oh, yeah, something like oh, that. Yeah, oh, that's that. a solid. Mm, yeah, that's like a solid <laughs> A sharp too. Yeah, yeah, we can do a nice. lot down there. Yeah, yeah, no, like you can make your voice sound like this if you can Ooh. like maintain it there. Technically. Oh okay. <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh, <laughs> indeed. Okay, so what do we <laughs> So what do we do here? So you can reach such a low pitch. Mm, but why does reaching the pitch doesn't automatically make you sound masculine, right? Like you kinda sound like this. Yeah. Mm, like you're kinda like you kinda like give you like androgynous vibes and kinda like maybe like low feminine voice, right? So that's because yeah. you have made your vocal folds vibrate slower, aka you've done a lower pitch. Wow, amazing. But now, what can we do extra to make your voice more masculine? We can do two things. Thicken up the vocal folds to get a more boomy sound. Uh, into uh, a much thicker sound. Uh, and we can get a darker sound by making the vocal tract bigger, right? Right now, your larynx or your Adam's apple might be like up like a bit higher and we want to drop it to get a darker sound how do we do this sound exploration and this is where the pat that cat comes into play so how about you give me a bright pat that cat like just how your normal voice does it pat that cat give it a try like, pat that cat pat that cat also so you're pat here pat that cat awesome now we want to go towards a darker path, that cat. Let's try this. Pat, 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 thought cat. Pat, 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 
Oh god. Puck yeah. Puck thought god. Yeah, okay, that's awesome. Can you try and say like Hello, how are you? With that dark pat that cat? Puck thought god. How are you? Pat thought cat. Oh yeah. How are you? That's really good. Hello, how are you? Yeah, okay, that's a really dark dark whisper okay <laughs> this is gonna be interesting so now i want to bridge that dark whisper into a dark voice so how do we do this we want to slowly go from the whisper into a breathy sound into a balanced sound balanced is how you and i are speaking right now whispering is well it's just whispering and breathy is kind of like uh, like this out of breath sound kind of like that out can you do that sound breath. out of breath yeah. Out of not whispering. exactly out of kinda breath. <laughs> sort it's of, sort of. Like half of a whisper. <laughs> like half of a whisper. <laughs> yes, it's Puck actually half a whisper. Okay, so Puck we're gonna try the following. Pot that cut. Pot that cut. Pot awesome. that cut. Careful. Oh, you're doing. Pot that cut. Pot that cut. So you're letting yourself trail back up to a brighter sound. Be careful with that. But that cut. But that cut. Nice. But now try and hold that ah sound for a little bit. But that cut. Ah. Awesome. And now by holding that ah sound, let's go into a breathy sound. Uh, okay. Nice. Okay. And from there, can you say, uh, Pat that cat. Pat, pat that cat. Oh, this is good. Pat that cat. <laughs> okay, good. Pat that cat. And I know you can go lower than this pitch. So can we take the pat that cat lower in pitch? <laughs> Put that cat, put that cat. Put that cat, put that cat, put that cat, put that cat. Oh, yeah! Put that cat. Is it comfortable for you? Put that cat, yeah, yeah, yeah. Put that cat, put that cat. Put that cat, put that cat. Oh, you're killing it. Nice. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, <laughs> do you see the board up there? Yeah. Awesome. So cool. it's here, it's there, it's the same. Don't worry. Uh, how do I use this bit? Sorry. Just. Oh, oh, um, cool. oh, oh. Sorry, I have really bad vision. <laughs> hey, it's fine. Get as close as you need to. Cool. Get close as you need to. No worries. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I can see that now. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So let's go, let's go again. <laughs> That cut. Now let's go and try and read that sentence up there. Oh, that mad brat sat on that flat mat. Give it a try. That mad brat. That yeah. mad brat sat on that flat mat. <laughs> nice. Okay. There's a lot of creak here in your voice. You have this. That mad brat sat on that <laughs> flat mat. So you're getting okay, like a bit of out. balance sound. So what's happening here is that your vocal folds are really closed, right? They're so close, in fact, that they kind of create this creaky, bubbly sound. This, uh, that bad brad, right? And, um, <laughs> like, that's a sound that's good. You can use it, like, interchangeably, you know, like, that mad brad sad on that flat mat. It can give more texture, but for right now it seems that like it's kind of, brad. yeah. Okay, that so how can we solve this? On that flat mat. <laughs> nice. Well, how the way you can solve this is by like pushing a bit more air to kind of force the vocal folds that are more closed to phonate a bit more fully. So from that mad brat into ha ha uh, that mad brat sat on that flat mat. Give that a try. Okay. That mad brat sat on that flat mat. <laughs> okay. That, that was mad good. Brat sat on that flat mat. 
Oh, you good? But careful, you're getting brighter here. You're thinking, the, the, <laughs> that mad brat sat on that flat mat. Like, now we're <laughs> back to, like, a brighter sound. So let's remember what we did with Pat that cat going darker. Pat, 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 Pat that cat. Yeah. That mad cat sat on yeah. that flat mat. That mad brat sat on that flat mat. Yeah. That, that mad, mad brat, brat sat, sat on that, that flat brat. <laughs> nice. Okay. Now the next step we can do to add on to this is to make your voice a bit thicker, right? To get like more okay. boominess, more weight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the way I can do this is you can like, try and like push something really heavy or try to pretend like you're like lifting something really heavy to get your voice a lot more heavy, you know? Have you ever like okay. tried to lift something and you kind of go like, ah, like you kind of grunt, you know? Yeah. You want to use that experience of like the grunt to like find a thicker sound. To go from a... That mad brat mad sat brat. on that flat. <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah, that yeah, mad brat yeah. sat on that flat mat. <laughs> Ooh, okay, that that flat that was so good. That mad brat <laughs> sat on that flat mat. Yeah, cheers, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mate. <laughs> oh on yeah. That flat yeah, mat. mate. That mad brat sat on that flat mat. Yeah, you like sat on yeah. that flat mat. So flat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so flat. That was so good. Wow. <laughs> 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 let's try this, let's try it. It's the next one. Uh, the crowbar opened a subpar car. Yeah. Uh, heavy and low and dark. Yeah. <laughs> that crowbar opened a subpar car. Car, that is a tongue twister. My gosh. <laughs> but that was so oh, dark. So cool. Subpar yes, car. Look. Yeah, you're, you're really getting the hang of this. <laughs> wow. Holy. Okay. That crowbar <laughs> opened a subpar car. <laughs> Damn, okay. They're a singer, so they've got. Oh, yeah, I'm a singer, so it's quite. I don't know, I've got quite a lot oh. of control on my voice, so hopefully that helps. Are we good? Oh, it's time. <laughs> yeah, oh, that was time, but my gosh, you Thank killed you. it. Uh, <laughs> good job, Thank Ash. You, so you killed much. it. <laughs> You've, uh, you've risen from the ashes to create <laughs> something incredible, bro. Yeah. And uh... <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Keep it up. Use Dave those Dave little exercises there. And uh, oh, yeah, thank you. applause for Ash, everyone. Thank you so much. You killed it. Nice. <laughs> wow, yeah, the I got really good all of a sudden now. <laughs> Ash was really good there. Okay, awesome. So I don't want to take too much time here. So let's go into the next and unfortunately the last person of today, which will be for feminizing the voice who might be interested raise your hand okay i saw you tosho we are come up on stage come on come on right side left side there's so many people today i'm so sorry i can get back to you okay hello tosho applause for tosho yeah. hello 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 hi there hi all right we got 10 minutes starting from now all right hello this is your first time here yeah, um, first time on stage. First time on stage. So you already know, like, what we do with voice modulation and all that good stuff, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So, with that being said, have you already tried to do some feminization on your own or not at all? Yeah. Yeah, I have. And okay, so cool. I, I am also a singer, so I have nice. some use. Sing does help quite, quite a bit. Um, all right. So... Uh, now that I know this, um, maybe do you have like a kind of voice in progress that you want to show? If that's not too much to ask for us, because, you know, stage and all that. Yeah, I'm so, ah, uh, ah, uh, more, mm -hmm. a bit more like this, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So, bed more like this. Okay, yeah. So, let's try this together. So, we know what we want to do. We want to do that pat that cat to a bright sound and then see where that leads us. Okay? Hi. Nice. Like this? 
Yes. Okay. And from that panda cat, you want to go to to uh, you want to go from that bright whisper into a full sound. So your mic is cutting off quite a bit. So can you make it so that noise suppression is turned off? Noise suppression is turned off. Okay. Very good. Mm, uh, also, also, there's like a noise gate thing. You want to put it all the way to zero percent, uh, right below noise suppression. The... It's in, it's in the quick menu. The threshold, right? Activation threshold. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's already at zero. Threshold. Okay, let's try this then. Uh, Give me that, just a gentle whisper. Hello. Hello. Awesome. Okay, very good. And from there, pat, 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 pat that cat. Okay, that's pretty good. And from there now, pat that cat. Can you read that sentence up there? That mad brat sat on that flat mat. That mad brat sat on the flat mat. Okay, good. You're pretty much there. That mad rat sat on that flat mat. It's a bit shaky there. That mad rat. There's that. Uh, mm, yeah, I think you know what's happening. No, mm -hmm. it's probably because I just woke up. <laughs> that probably doesn't help. Have you been able to warm up before the session or drink water at least? A little bit. A little bit. Okay. So warming up. So if you just woke up, generally what can happen is that your voice still has a lot of mucus buildup. Now mucus yeah. is not bad. It's like actually part of the vocal folds. The, the mucus is actually needed to help the vocal folds vibrate and function properly, right? The one problem that there is, however, is that when you just woke up, that mucus is generally a lot thicker. It can bubble up, create like weird sounds sometimes, and kind of like make your vocal folds function in a weird way. So it's important to warm up and drink plenty of water and just let the voice kind of get started in the day. Okay? Now, with that yeah. being said, mm -hmm. I heard this, that mad brat sat on that flat mat. There's a bit of that, like, like very slight stutter. Uh, kind of like that, right? So that sound generally can come, that can, that can come from two things. Generally, like, a strange closure of the vocal folds. So maybe they're too close. Um, or you're pushing too much air through them, right? That is a pretty common thing that happens when we go from a masculine voice to a feminine voice. After all, when you use a more masculine sound, you tend to have, uh, to generally use heavier vocal folds, right? So you tend to have like more vocal fold mass. You generally have like more of this voice rather than this voice, right? And because yeah. you use more vocal fold mass, you need more air to power it, right? And because yeah. you use more air, well, you still use too much air in the feminine voice, leading to this, uh, because your vocal valley is trying to hold uh -huh. back the air, and then it's making that weird stutter, uh, kind of like that, right? So, let's try and remove some of that air. So, think of how you use your air, right? You can breathe out all of your air at once, like this. All of it at once. Yeah. Okay, you can make that twice as long. Okay. And you can make yeah. that twice as long again. Yeah. Now you start to notice that it gets one quieter and two it also becomes a lot softer right the rate at which the air is leaving your lungs it's much reduced and so that same that same gentle airflow right you want to use your voice so again we've pat that cat but you're going to make the whisper a lot softer effectively no longer doing pot but instead, during pots, 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 
less air, and softer on your voice. Give that a try. Wait. Sorry, I, what was the last thing you said? I just zoned out quick. <laughs> it's okay. All I'm saying is that the way you use to... The way you use the whisper to tune your voice, right? You go for pot, 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 really quickly. Yeah. But you also use a lot of air. You go pot, 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 instead of pot, 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 right? It's that yeah. gentler version you want to use <laughs> to use less air in your full voice. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm going to give it a so, try. So it's still too much air there. Uh, no, no. <laughs> Gentle. <laughs> Better. From there. <laughs> yes. Yes. And now try to say pat that cat. That mad brat. That mad brat, brat sat. sat on the flat mat. My gosh, that's so good. Okay, that man rat sat on that flat mat. Super bright, super soft, high pitch. Very good. That's a fan voice. And best of all, you don't get that that mad brat that stutter anymore because you better okay. know how to manage your airflow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's really good. Wow. Okay, so from that mad brat into that mad brat sat. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you want to try and read the rest of this? All right, so let's try. Uh, the crowbar opened the subpar car. The, the crowbar opened the subpar car. Sounds great. The store doors creaked more on the fourth floor. The store doors creaked more on the... It's a tongue twister. Give it another try. No, it's, uh, it's more the fact I can't read it. <laughs> it's okay. Can you get any closer, perhaps? <laughs> the, the store door creaked more on the fourth floor. Okay, now you lost your voice a little bit, but it's okay. Let's restore it again. Uh, uh, pa, 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 that cat, the store the door. Store door. The, store, the store door creaked more on the fourth floor. Okay, good. Careful there. The store doors creaked more on the fourth floor. You kind of lost it around creaked more, okay? So try and stay monotonous for now. The store doors creaked more on the fourth floor. You know, like smi small bites that you can tackle. The, the store door creaked more on the fourth floor. Very good. Nice. Let's start the last one. Not the last one, the next one. Ah, uh, the new you is no taboo. You grew. It's true. The new you is no taboo, you grew, it's true. Very good. Oh! Okay, so, you grew, it's true, very good. Now, careful, because the oo sound can sound a bit darker than the rest of the English sounds. You grew, it's true, could sound a bit more like, you grew, it's true, at the same pitch. So, do try and practice those individual vowel sounds, right? So, you can try to do, instead of pat that cat, you could try and do, um, I don't know, like, uh, new you, and like, kind of do, new you, new you, new you, and like, really aim for that, you, 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 that really bright you sound, okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. So to try to tackle and like go over those different sounds um, and try to like really bright each one of them. But other than that, um, the biggest thing in your voice was uh, to uh, get rid of that uh, stutter issue. And we did so by reducing how much air you push. And once you did that, your voice was pretty much there. The rest is focusing and practicing and getting used to it. Okay? Okay. Um, I got one All other right. question. Go for it. What's the question about? Uh, um, well, 
I want to be able to sing in a femme voice. Mm hmm. Yeah. I That's just, not a question. Oh, it's, it's like, no. I, it's, it's a want. No, okay, I know. It's very okay. much possible, but I won't lie. It's a very long question to answer. Generally speaking, you just want to keep your voice really bright and train your range, train your voice to go up to higher pitches, like consistently, brightly, and all that good stuff, you know? And okay. uh, you can you can learn that. But yeah, definitely like try and test your range. Be knowledgeable about your pitch range. Do you actually know what your range is or not at all? Because you mentioned you sing, so. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I know what my range is, but it's been changing because I've been specifically working on making it larger. So currently okay, I don't know good. exactly how high I can go. Well, I'll let you figure that on your own. But for a feminine voice, it's a bit more casual. It's, it's not like... It's, it's very different from singing in the sense of, like, singing can have, like, a lot of stylistic choices, whereas voice is more of a, like, idle, natural sound, okay? So, yeah. for voice, generally use less air, push air less, and that generally goes for most higher pitches, if you want to, unless you want to, like, use a belting technique here, but, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, yeah. applause for Tosho! <laughs> She killed it. <laughs> yeah. Best of all your practice and uh, keep it up. All right. So now, 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 now we are in time. So I don't want to make Alistair wait too much. Thank you, Twitch people, for showing up today. I hope that you enjoyed this session. There'll be another one. Uh, not the next Sunday, but the Sunday afterwards. So stay tuned for that. And I'll be seeing you on the next Sunday. Goodbye, Twitch. Bye-bye.